Good evening. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, June 21st. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to approve the expense warrant for 614, library and school expense warrant for 621, and payroll warrant for 621. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I entertain a motion to acknowledge the fire department's report for May 2016. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing nope. none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements. Mr. Wallinan, district aide to Senator Ann Gobi, will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. tomorrow, June 22nd. All are welcome. Brookfield Summer Concerts on the Common Series will kick off on Friday, July 8th, 5.30 p.m. Henry and the Juggler. Henry the Juggler will perform followed by a concert with crowd favorites David Pike and the Good Old Boys from six, at 6.30. Area cooks and budding bakers of all ages are invited to compete for cash prizes in a cookie baking contest which will precede the concert. Local public access committee is seeking members. The committee is also seeking videographers to take meetings in local events. Those interested should contact Ms. Mahoney at local access Brookfield MA at brookfieldma.us. Um, and I would personally like to thank both uh, Ms. Mahoney and her husband for attending a lot of these functions um, that I'm personally going yeah. to when I see them there, and yeah. unfortunately I don't get to watch as much TV as I'd like, so I'm assuming they're on TV. But, they, are. Uh, they are. And I, they did a nice job down when we had the memorials. I saw that the other day. Did a nice job. But they're, they're there. I know they're there. Uh, any other announcements? Mm. Hearing none, anybody wish to address the board this evening? Mr. Holcraft, welcome. Good. What do you uh, find out on the snowplow practice with the wind plow? Well, uh, we've operated in this mode for six years, not had a malfunction. The cost of the town was a headlight and uh, just care and operation. Care and operation? As far as the, just to take care in the operation of that particular truck. and. Those particular so that's the problem with the wind plow in the small world. That is the highway superintendent's prerogative. Okay. I don't think that's good. What about the practice of all the equipment leaving uh, a site away from the highway barn and then coming back for a 15, 20 minute break and then hauling everything back again and then an hour and a half later bringing it all back again with all the crew and all the men? Well, and I mean, lunch and then going back again and then coming back again early. Another alternative would be to buy a port potty. Is the advisory board recommending a porta potty? Be, uh, it's the first I've heard of it. Well, I'm about would that be a good? Stuff. Would that be a good idea? Well, it, it would pay for itself in no time. Well, here's here's the other part to that, uh, other than talking about restrooms for the evening, um, that uh, the contract that we prefer to use charges us the eight hundred fifty dollars a day. You have about six and a half hours of active or efficient activity. That guy comes with mats something that the other contractors don't, and they provide assistance to us as far as the, that works. So you're paying $850 a day to that particular individual. Should we hire Northern or others, you're paying 1500 bucks a day. Comes with an operator, and the, basically the operator stays in the bucket truck. So from a, uh, being cost effective in the removal of trees, the, uh, the guy that we prefer to use would be uh, what, who we are using, and it costs us the 850 bucks a day, plus some, with in, including additional services. Well, I got a guy that will come into the town for 5,000 a day. We're going to compare that to the eight for what we're paying. No, no, no. I, I would just. You I would, need, Mr. Chairman, 5,000, do you? Oh, yeah, I mean, what? he's comparing it to, to high-priced people. No, we got a guy that's doing it for 850. 850. There's other people who come in for the same price. My, my, my well, then, I, then I'd suggest that you offer that to the highway superintendent of who you. Well, Dave, in, in regards to that, Dave, we're yeah. we're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to ask your committee to um, approve a reserve transfer request. Um, I spent a good part of the day getting quotes and Mr. Stendrup working on quotes for the um, yeah. 
for the beach. beach. Yep. Uh, we got a quote back from a pretty reputable guy. He actually does my work for twenty two hundred dollars to twenty four hundred dollars. A full day with four guys mm-hmm. versus, well, the, versus versus about a fourteen hundred dollar bill with two guys at time and a half on a Saturday, plus Mr. Sierra. So you know, it is saving the town a thousand dollars. So. Well, we got to compare apples to apples. You I, can't I just compare the, high price right, high price to something. But that this this do this, this is a guy that does my work. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not paying mm. Cadillac prices. Trust me. No. I mean, it, We've got to get that work done over there on some farm. But I'm just I'm throwing that out as a reference, you know. We're, right, we're, right, yeah. right. I just compared apples to apples. We use who we use. It's been cost effective. You're complaining about a particular day that you saw people no, parting no, no. one to it's the not other. A, it's not one particular day. It's a normal, general practice of what we do. So you're, su- you're su- and it's costing thousands and thousands of dollars. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Well. <clears throat> And that's your opinion. It's not an opinion. It's a fact of what is taking yeah. place in our town. It's a practice. And what yeah. I'm saying to you is that is that a good practice for us to be doing it that way? We got a guy with a tree company. He comes in. He gets paid from seven. He doesn't. He's sitting down at the highway barn sometimes a quarter to eight. We pay him for his lunch, and then we. He's, I see him. I see him out warming for crying out loud at, at, at quarter to three, and he's getting paid to three. And that's not just one day. It's just, I, I know what's going on. So you take all these, all this time, add it up. It's thousands of dollars. <clears throat> and then you guys are worrying about hooking up a pipe to a kitchen sink in there because it's going to cost too much. And we're, when we're wasting thousands on the other end for something else. Again, I would turn, turn to the chair and I would suggest that that's an opinion, and I am entitled to mine. And I would only say the only other thought that I would have is that if you if you have witnessed this. To then provide a document to the chair that we should be. Uh, well, I'm doing it right here in the public. I mean, how much do uh, you think I'm going to sit here and make up you, stories? You, you Anyone that knows me, clients, <laughs> will tell you that I tell exactly what goes on. Right to well, a I'm looking forward to exactly what goes on here in a few and minutes. And I just told you. And I said you're entitled to your opinion. It's not an opinion, it's a matter of fact. Well, I've got some facts here too that you'll. Suggest well, the, 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 the facts are, Clarence, the facts are is they, they do go back to the highway barn for coffee. Yep. They do go back for lunch. Yeah. And restroom. And, yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't think they take every piece of equipment with them. I think they'll get into one truck and go back up. That's um, not what I have. That's not what that, I that's have what observed what, on uh, I've, 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 I've worked in the town for the past week, and they've actually been helping me um, down in Lewis Field. And it... it they came down, they were mowing Lewis Field, and they came down in one truck, and they all left in one truck and left everything there. So they didn't load everything up and go back. That's different. That's that's probably <coughs> two guys cutting the field down there. It, it's that's the same. Diff- it's that's the same a little different than what I'm saying. They have not really. <clears throat> they have a work ethic. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to be more cost effective because in the course of a year, you're talking tens of thousands of when, dollars. When, when you're referring to the tree itself, the tree issues, the, the town saving money doing what we're what doing. We're doing. Yeah, but we could. Yeah, but we can be doing more because we got a good guy that is supposedly at a good price. Yep. But yet we're still we're still wasting. We're still we're getting five five and a half hours out of him, and we're paying for eight. You're missing the whole point here, Clarence. Okay, you're saying that we get five or five and a half. I'm suggesting you get six and a half hours of active or efficient work. We're off by an hour. A hundred bucks. For each day that he's doing it, no, I, I, don't, I don't see. Wrong. I don't. I don't is, see ten, tens of thousands here. I do. Your math is off. You're entitled to your opinion. It's not opinion, it's the facts. We're going to break it down for you. <coughs> Mr. Chair, yeah, next, I've reported. Next, next issue, sir. Yes, when you do Chapter 9, you wonder if you can, before you do anything out of Chapter 9, you wonder if you can bring it to the Finance Board and let us know what is going to be dispensed out of it and what it's for. You want us to get on board with this capital? Uh, in, <laughs> get on board. I got scolded again yeah. for the third time. So as far as as far as I'm concerned, I'm done with it. Mm. Okay, but I'm and just we, saying you want us to get on board with it, and we've been doing some of it. But yet, when we do, when you spend chapter ninety money, we don't know what it's being spent. So can you make note any time that we have a discussion with chapter ninety, it gets forwarded over the advisory committee. Thanks. And the next thing I'm, and I'm talking about chapter ninety is I we. From what I picked up at the uh, annual town meeting is we're going to be getting maybe another payload to replace another one. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Trying to work towards yeah, that. Yeah, trying to work. That's my point. Yeah. So do, do, we, do, we, do we need another payload even though we've had, we have two? 
Well, one of those gonna is going to be out of commission. This one's getting scrapped. And that's why he didn't, that's why he passed over that article. And I know we have two payloaders and a back row, and we have another farm tractor that's going to fuck it, too. What I'm saying to you is, do we need to get one now? Well, that, and, we need and, to and I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to be offensive to you personally, or the you can't offend to it. the advisory committee as a whole, yeah. but what gets spent out of Chapter 90 money is between the Board of Selectmen and the Highway Department. That's right. Me personally, I'm not running back to the advisory committee to see if we no, can spend chapter nine. Oversee money. the finances, and that's what we're trying you, to do. You can, you can be advised of it. Right, that's my sure. point. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, not looking. Trying to the, the board's not going to tell you yeah. what to do, but we want to go over it. But I'm just and telling make you. recommendations, and that's why we're charged with, correct? No. Not on chapter nine, no. money, no. Well, it's money in the town. It's money in the town. I would like to expand this conversation about money into the town. Okay. Quite honestly, if, if you if you in what aspect? Me. Well, I I was told that a study was done, so I did my own study with respect to the highway department and grants that the town has received, and so I put a little report together, and I have a copy for the chairman of the advisory committee because I heard that they did a report, and so I just want to kind of give you a flavor. <coughs> So this is the highway department, and we talk about Chapter 90, so some of that's in this as well. But this is the, since Cindy came on board in 2003, the upper chart is the millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars that she received on a yearly mm -hmm. basis uh, from those grants that she administered. What you see in the little brown line in the top chart, and I've expanded down to the chart below, is that these grants allow the town 8 to 10 percent for management. And so rather than taking each grant and deciding how much administrative costs we were allowed, mm -hmm. I just took the bottom number of 8% to just calculate that. So what you see is the administrative dollars. So at the, the bottom chart is 8% of the, the top numbers. What you see in the black line is the average through those years of what came to the town for useful dollars. So again, taking out the high years and the low years, just what's the average of that? To the town, the town would received back in 2003 roughly $20,000 for administration of the grants that Cindy was administering. You did not pay Cindy that; you paid her that brown line at the very bottom, and what her salary has been through uh, partial year of 2016, suggesting to me that we've been paying Cindy. I mean, the town has not been paying Cindy; the grants have been paying Cindy since she began her work and additional other resources of the town. So, David, my question to you is the study that you did that suggested that uh, we not expand the uh, highway administrator by four hours a week, which would have cost the town $3,000 in this coming year, was suggested that that was a bad idea. We now have two contracts. We had a contract that we fought for three years to get paid, and we lost those that income. And, and quite honestly, I believe that Cindy could have worked, possibly had she had some more hours, to be a bit more uh, tenacious in gathering that money. I look at now the correspondence that we now have on Mill Street that says that we missed out on the opportunity to get the building through this June. It will be later in next year, so we've lost another opportunity where we could have, had we been um, able to administer a bit better or had an additional time to administer, that we might have those funds in our pocket a little quicker than we would have had otherwise. I think we had discussions on both of those and it wasn't worth the yeah. time because it wasn't going to be potentially plausible to get them. We eventually got the 60000 That's. But Cindy has a pretty good radar and she's not going to waste her time on things that... On, f on, on future grants. That, what I'm talking about, these are the grants you've got. Mm -hmm. and, and all I'm saying I, is... There's, no, there's nobody in this room, and Dave's not going to even argue it, that Cindy works her butt off of this town she in goes regards to bringing money and, back. And, and so what I was told, and I was told that a study was done by the advisory board that suggested that those four extra hours per week was a bad idea. What I'm asking the chairman of the advisory committee for is a copy of that report. <coughs> because I'd like to understand the basis by which we did not approve those four hours. Okay. What we've also said was that this some of the, we should have the highway department take a break because of the work that they did over the last two years, last summer, which they are doing, vacation times are being taken, mm -hmm. good idea, get, that, go, get those off the books, and we'll move on. But I'm suggesting as we move into another great grant cycle, and I'm looking at Complete Streets as the example, MassWorks grants, 
If I look at this blue up here at the top and I see hundreds of thousands of dollars coming into the town, that went into our roads. And we have the roads that we have because of what we see here. And that we would want to expand that, I would think, rather than pulling back away from it. So again, I just look forward to your report. Okay. <clears throat> But, but there has to be a limit of how much is how much. We used to have a grant record. The, yep. issues, the issue here is not how much time. Wait, so, so to stop you there, we do. We've had the discussion with Cindy. Mm -hmm. Cindy always has the availability mm -hmm. to go to Mrs. Scanlon. And we also gave her hours from our administrative assistant, mm -hmm. which it is what it is down yep. there. Yep. She's using it to the best of her ability. Yep. So, so if you can just provide him with that, and we can have a future discussion once he mm -hmm. mulls over that. Any yeah. other issues? No, so I'm, just, I'm just saying. Oh, saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have another issue. What's the other issue? David has received correspondence about his driveway. He has a permit in his hand that's signed. And your point to that? I just want to make sure that everybody on the news. We didn't yeah. have to have phone calls or anything else. We, oh, we had phone calls. Well, we had phone calls. Uh, we, yeah. had, we shouldn't have had a Additional. Yeah. We Additional. shouldn't have had to come. We shouldn't have had it. I, sh I shouldn't have had to come before the town to even discuss the situation. All I'm saying is I think Am I right? that good things have come. Yeah, but, but the point I'm making is I shouldn't have had to have come here to even discuss an issue but, of a driveway. Well, maybe. Any other issues, Mr. Holcroft? Yeah, no. So. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? Oh, yeah. I got one more. <laughs> What's okay. that? Yeah, I got one, too. I want to know if you're still going to move on putting that restroom in this room. Are we going to move? No, I had are a you going to move forward and doing it? Yeah. We have you talked to Mass Historical yet? Let's see if we have to get special permission to change the building in here. That's the first I've heard of it. I look forward to chatting with those folks. They're on a first-name basis. What okay. would you like me to talk to them? Oh, I know. If, if, if we're clear to, to put it in here. I would thank you. So that's a curveball to me, sir. Can you have that conversation? I would definitely. Because I have I had a meeting with a plumber. I, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know how this got onto my plate so quick, but that's kind of fun. But, but yeah, okay. But I don't know why. But if you if you don't mind. No. Nope. But nope. I have the plumber and what, Fantasco. What, I think what they what they will do is they will worry about the outside. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Okay, the outside that they worry about. We tried to do something with the old accountant's office in there, and there was, there was because a lot of the window that we couldn't do it. But again, talk, you said talk, so. It's, yeah. it's like the structural, that they really don't want you to hurt the structural. Yeah. Right. So I just gotta make sure we touch base, that's all. Make yeah. sure if we're gonna do it, we can do it. Yeah. Yeah. So. My okay. experience with them, inside's inside. If you can just confirm that, though. Yeah, okay. just confirm okay. before we yep. start tearing and adding stuff to the okay. table. Okay. All right, good, thanks. Thank you. Mr. Eaton? <coughs> Both of you gentlemen? Well, did you have it? You guys are on the agenda. Did you have? Yes, yes. yes. You don't want public access? I'm sorry? You don't want to discuss anything during public access? No. no Anybody else wish to talk in regards to public access? Hearing none. Item number one, Water Commissioner's discussion. Welcome, gentlemen. The floor is yours. Just some talking points. Basically, the reason why we wanted to come before you tonight uh, is to talk about the fact that uh, our water superintendent will be leaving. Uh, we have a date of uh, December 31st, mm -hmm. and so in realizing that that is ahead of us, we have some work to do as far as uh, position descriptions and determination on, on uh, what we need to do. Uh, as you'll see, uh, the very first line there is what is the Water Commission's authority uh, in hiring the new superintendent? I look at the town bylaws and I don't see anything in the town bylaws in reference to the Water Commissioners. Uh, but under the Water Superintendent uh, heading under the bylaws, it says that the uh, superintendent is hired by the water commissioners yeah. um, and I, I guess mm -hmm. what I'm asking is mm -hmm. does that need legal review by town council so that we know what what our authority is well if I remember correctly when mr. Uh, when Bruce was hired it was done by the water commissioners mm -hmm. And they didn't go before the selectmen it was because like you, you almost run like as a separate entity 
So would I don't I, I mean I don't think personally that you would have to go before uh, town council. You, you, would, you would not have to. No, I don't think you would. But I mean, if the other can two we, members can think. We, uh, well, the wage I believe, so I so to nip all this conversation yeah. in the bud, mm -hmm. the what ifs, could have been. Mm -hmm. I'm going to entertain a motion to allow the um, water commissioners to contact legal counsel in regards to all the right. hiring process. Just a verify. Sure. sure. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, so, um, as far as the wage, uh, my understanding is that. The Y Commission has worked with the personnel board to establish that uh, that wage. You know, so yeah. if a wage authorization comes, the, the board has to sign that too. Yeah, we have. Well, to. we would go back yeah. to personnel. It goes back to personnel. Right. Yeah. So we will work with them, and yeah. then it will be uh, forwarded uh, for review and approval. Okay. Uh, so I, I guess under. The, Right. So if you drop down to the next uh, subject heading is what is the new water superintendent going to look like? And I guess the big question is what is happening with DPW? And is that something that obviously is going to affect our, our process and mm. who this superintendent works for? Um, so I guess we're asking for some guidance as to what might. So be. this this board really hasn't discussed moving forward with the no. DPW. Knee jerk? Do we want to? I don't think so because I had talked to town council quite a bit on it, and she says really, in the small communities, it's not really a good idea to go ahead with the DPW. So then, what authority do you guys have to hire with a job description of what mm -hmm. Mr. Clark actually does? i.e. water department well, highway well, well, the, I well that's that's part of the question yes. is this going mm -hmm. to be uh, are we expecting to get another bruce clark that will work with the highway for and the and the water department mm -hmm. for 40 hours a week or is it something that would be just a water superintendent position but that leaves us in a position that bruce obviously does help the highway department he mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. does without, <coughs> yeah, without course, question and absolutely. nobody will question that yeah. well <laughs> i know when we did the job descriptions and mary luke could probably back when we had gone over bruce's remember we had put in it someone that would work with the highway department and that they would have all these different licenses that they need that's that's bruce's job that's bruce's yeah. but we said but we right. said we would also put in it you know that they could probably, you know, if they would be in agreement to work with the highway department, but if I remember that, correctly. I, I would like you to ask that question to council if that's yeah. legal, if we can. Yeah, find out Because technically legal. the Board of Selectmen oversees the highway department and you guys oversee the water department. So it's mm -hmm. kind of a mixing of okay. two different that's entities. A, that's another good question. I mean, that's why we're yeah. here is to yeah. figure out, uh, you know, to ask these questions. Uh, so we can, we can start the process. And I know it seems like it's a long way off. Well, that's my question, it's, yeah. and that's why I asked Karen. That he hasn't even really legally submitted Correct. a retirement. Right. So yeah. when I see an August um, application, is, is that premature, well, August 15th? Again, this is very preliminary. Um, this is something that, that I put together the, last night to present to uh, the commissioners when we have our next meeting but this is basically a kind of a fact-finding uh, my, my only recommendation if you're looking to hire mid-november obviously for training purposes or whatnot a lot can happen from august to november someone say they'll take the job and then something else happens and and, and so the, i mean this is giving you kind of a, yeah. a, it's a timeline a, yeah it's a, a timeline, timeline. Yeah. but that when i see that that's the only thing that stick the two things that stick out to me is is the highway slash water department yep. and then the, the date for advertising i would recommend pushing it farther and, and we may well do that this is strictly a talking point yep. uh, um, Do we want to talk about um, what the other options would be if, if it's not a uh, uh, position similar to what Bruce 
does now with the highway. Well, that's where I was going. Yeah. If you guys just hired a 20 hour a week or whatever it is, we'd probably have to pick up another highway employee. Right. Uh, and then there is the possibility of outsourcing to a private company. I'm not going to micromanage that department. No. That's, that's up to you, John. It's nothing to okay. do with you. But yeah, I'm glad you didn't lose sight of the fact that he's a huge part of the highway department. Mm. Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, the work that the highway department did last summer uh, on the police station. You see him all over town. You don't even have to say yeah. anything. You'll see him yeah. excavating down yeah. on Weber Road, then down on. Yeah. yeah. And I think he's been, he helps out even repairing the equipment down there too yeah. at the highway. He's been a big part of the town for many and, years. And the beauty is it's, it's on the budget of the water department. Yeah. <laughs> It's a thing. I don't think we'll find somebody that can really replace proof. Well, that's that's our mission. <laughs> I, I, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's probably the biggest nut. Yeah. yeah. Is that we really need the coverage of two people because it's really not fair to be 724, 365. Now, is the um, secondary op operator is he going to stay on, or are you going to have to find another one? That's something that That's we'll have to be too. determined. Yeah. But as you'll see, when I, I have alternates listed, I think we're going to need probably two alternates. Again, uh, you can't expect a new superintendent to work every weekend like Bruce does. Yeah, I know. I see Bruce go by all the yeah. time. Comes right by my house. So, yeah. Any information that you guidance that you want to provide to us is, uh, you know would be helpful and we just wanted to sit down and give you okay. what what we see as coming up uh, obviously those dates are not cast yeah. in stone uh, it's just kind of say uh, it'll be here before we know it yeah fortunately yeah. so from a purely accounting perspective we're underestimating the highway expenses and overestimating the water department expenses it's been going on. I know. I know it's beneficial to the town, but is it correct accounting? I think the accounting is correct. But we're charging the water department for 10, 15 hours a week, 20 hours a week, that is actually being spent on the highway department. Well, it can be justified that the highway department's out there working for the water department, laying pipe or digging roads yeah. or. Right, but I, I don't think it's quite even. And, and to be honest yeah. with you, the retirement was really the only reason why the DPW conversation yeah. came up to, to handle that accounting issue. So it's all under one roof. So if you guys want to have a conversation with Copeland and Page and think we can get a DPW and if it'll work better, you guys have a good handle on the highway department. Mm -hmm. and well, from what, from what I have seen on the laws uh, or the state regulations for establishing a TPW, I don't even think we can get there. The oh, this hurdles, no, yeah. No, because you have to, you have to like vote it in at a town right. meeting, then you have to go to an annual. And There's a lot of it, authority it, that goes with that. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, yeah. it, it would consume any number of water commissioners, cemetery, so, yeah. highway. Re recreation, it would take in everything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Item number two, award the CDBG consultant contract for the senior center planning project. Um, there has been a study and it was an advantageous proposal from, two, 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 where are we? Cat, Catlin and Petrick architect PC for the sum of $37,000 and that will be coming from the fiscal 2015 community block development grant. I will entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign. I will make that motion. Second. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number three, municipal transfers. I will entertain a motion to transfer from the reserve fund 
to the well test expense account for the amount of $815, and this has been approved by the advisory committee already. Cost is over and above what the contracted price was. The extra is for sampling. Yeah, who, who is this from? Mike Sierra. Oh, it's from Mike. Board of Health. Oh, oh it's from the Board of Health. So entertain said motion. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion from the Cemetery Commission for the amount of $865.20. A transfer from the perpetual Perpetual care? No, animal control expense. Oh, that was my yes, fault. Bad, yes. bad penmanship on someone's part. Animal control expense to the cemetery payroll. After last transfer, there was 851 20, 52 remaining. So cover one pay period, which ends mm -hmm. June 16th. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 This has not been before the advisory committee yet. <coughs> uh, the highway department is requesting a transfer of $2,000 from the highway seasonal worker account to the highway overtime other account. Um, their their um, reason for transfer is stating that the highway department was mowing. Um, I think that is just one bullet of that. We have uh, overtime hours for Weber Road and other mm -hmm. projects, yeah. so there is overtime. It's more than just mowing issues. Mowing comes to about $500. Yeah. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve the transfer. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll take those two points. That advisory comes tonight, or maybe with the day of tonight. What was the, what was the amount on the um, board, the other one on the board of health? Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. No, I have that one. Wasn't there another one? Cemetery was eight sixty-five twenty. While we're on transfers, I would like to entertain a motion. We don't have the slip here, but if we have the motion, we can sign it. Um, to transfer the amount of fourteen hundred dollars to the uh, what are we calling it? Not the shade tree, but the tree warden expense. Oh, so yeah. we could just yeah, put it to the highway, highway expense. Yep, I would. Uh, from the, re the reserve fund to the highway ex highway department expense, mm -hmm. the amount of fourteen hundred dollars for the purpose of um, removing the trees at the beach. I'll make that motion. Yeah. Have a second? Yes, yeah, sure. Any yeah. discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so if you heard through public access, we got the bid of 2000 to 2200 today. Doing the math, it's about 1400 for uh, a Saturday. Okay. Two guys going down there okay. and with Mr. Sierra. Um, can you get that drawn up so we can get yeah. that to the advisory committee as well? <coughs> uh, item number four, vacation carryovers. Uh, Cindy's requesting a carryover of 36 hours. I want to attain said motion. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Any none all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Chief Martell is requesting five vacation days to be transferred over for the first quarter of FY17. Entertain said motion. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing none all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number five, town account applications. The deadline was mm -hmm. up. We received three applications. Um, one I don't think is even worth entertaining, mm -hmm. uh, someone from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Other two are from Natick and Westboro. It's tough. None mm -hmm. of them have municipal experience, mm -hmm. but they do have a county experience. Um, we either have the option of requesting an interview with both individuals and making a determination or Going out to bid again, putting out advertisement again. I go out again. I think I would go out again because, like, one of them, when I had looked it over, one of them's got a full time job, so when would he be here? Well, we are requesting a part time position, so. I understand that, but I mean, the thing is, I mean. I so I'm going to entertain a motion to go out to bid again. I'll make that motion. Second. And Just so that you know, um, 
Joan did say the only one worth pursuing might be the third one, the, um, the woman. Yeah. woman. So if you can just request, if you can reach out to her, state that we are going out again okay. due to inadequate and, um, if I could bring up, she wants to apply again. I think we should, I don't know how the other two board members feel, but I think we should extend it to 20 hours, and I think that we should probably offer some benefits with it, and I think by that we might get more people to respond. What's it advertised at now? 15 to 20. No right. benefits. You and put in there no benefits? No, but we put 15 to 20. Well, 15 to 20, by, by law, if they know municipal finance, that 20 piece does get benefits, so I, I don't think we have to muddy it down. Well, I think we might just have to, you know, offer somebody benefits in, in order to get a, you know, good person here for yep. the job. Not opposed to it, if it comes with that 20 hour piece. But I think we have a motion on the floor. I don't think we took a vote. Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I say advertise. <coughs> so we'll advertise again. Uh, appointments. <laughs> I'm going to put that to the side. You can do that at your own time, Clarence. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Um, the accountant, we've already, we didn't hire with an expiration, did we? It was just a. She's just interim. here on interim until okay. so we, we don't find have to somebody. Okay, we reappoint that. Um, entertain a motion to appoint for a three-year term Mr. Falter to the advisory committee. Um, I'll make that motion. Second. Uh, any discussion? No. Nope. None all in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to appoint Ms. Coughlin for a three-year term. I'll make the motion. Do we have a second? Nope. There's no second. Entertain a motion to appoint uh, to the Agricultural Commission for a three-year term, Mr. Dolan. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Aye. Aye. No. <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, three-year term to Mr. Starcher. I'll make the motion. No, second. Any discussion? Hearing no. none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Agcom alternate for one year, Mr. Grimes. I'll make the motion. Second. Discussion? Can I just... Take out discussion from all this. We're not going to yeah, discuss. Yeah. You guys can just jump in yeah. if you want yeah, to. Good guys. Uh, all good in guys. favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, one year term, Mr. Cleveland? Motion. I'll make the motion. Yeah. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Havlin? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Ledoux? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? No, Aye. Aye. My friend, Dr. Ledoux. He's <laughs> our expert. <laughs> And a good guy. Yes, yep. he is. Uh, Three-year term animal control officer, Miss Purdue. I'll if make I the motion. Mispronounce that. I yeah, that's all. Purdue. I'll, I'll make the motion. Second. And uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Bannister Common and Mall for three years, uh, Miss. Help me, Schliz Schlick. S Monica Schlick. Monica Schlick. Oh yeah. Schlick. Okay. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Lytle, three-year term? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bylaw committee, <coughs> one-year term, Mr. Cook? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Uh, all in favor? I'm Aye. Aye. Violating my own recommendation? Aye. Aye. Ms. Wilson? I'll make the motion. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Holcraft? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Grabowski? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Barnes? Make the motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Did we want discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 T -t 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 Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, one year. Mr. Urkeler is an alternate. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One year term for the CDBG Advisory Committee, Ms. Lincoln. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Clark? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Thompson? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Roberts? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Knight? 
I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Conservation Commission for three years, Mr. O'Leary? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Cleveland? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Simon? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Constable, one year, Mr. Tatro? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Council on Aging, three years, Ms. Roberts? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. LeBlanc? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Canty? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Three year cultural council, Ms. Siri? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Swanson? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, election workers, one year, Ms. Kay? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. LaPierre? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Lazil? Lazili, I'll I'm sorry. Lazily. 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 Even worse. Thanks. Made my face redder. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Ms. Latour is a warden. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Murray? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Myers? Uh, oh, she's not here anymore. You don't. Take that moved. off. I won't entertain oh, the motion. That came from Michael. Jean's been gone now. Ms. Simpson? <laughs> I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Woodward? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Brown? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Pratt? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Renaud? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Help me with this one, Pizarzik. Yes, Pizarzik. I nailed it. Yay! I forgot. I motion. Have I'll make the motion. Could you? Second. All in favor? Look at it? Oh yeah, I've yeah. got the old book. So. Yeah, the ones that are up this year. Those yes. ones. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 A three-year emergency medical squad Aye. chief, Miss Lafleur. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A three-year emergency medical squad officers, Mr. Martell is captain. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Graves is lieutenant. I'll make the motion. Aye. Oh, second. Second. Aye. All in Aye. favor? There we go. Aye. 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 Emergency medical squad. I don't see any issues on this, so I'm going to take a group roster. Yeah. Um, Anderson, Martell, Driscoll, Marks, Rosario, Phillips, McLeod, Roderick, Glennon, help me, Renaloni. Where? Raymond. Uh, Anderson, Connor, Gadboys, mm. Graves, Lafleur, Martel, Lovely, Stur, Struer, Struer, Stewart, Stewart, Stewart. Do I have a motion? Yeah, I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Fire Chief and Forest Fire Warden, Mr. Martel, for three years. I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Firefighter officers, three-year terms. <coughs> Assistant Chief, Mr. Chafee. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, as Captain, Mr. Martell. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 As Captain, Mr. Carmen. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 As Lieutenant, Mr. Le McLeod. 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 Bill. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. As Lieutenant, Mr. Phillips. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The firefighters, I have Mr. Butnick, Ms. LaFleur, Mr. Chafee, Ms. McLeod, Mr. Comtois, Mr. Graves, Mr. Roderick, Mr. Driscoll, Mr. Merlot, Mr. Connor, Mr. Esser, Mr. White, Mr. Stewer. Stewer. Stewer, mm -hmm. Mr. Codwell, Mr. Edbert. Fimian. It's a different lot of different names. Mm -hmm. here. How do you pronounce it? Renault? Ranel? Rosario. <sighs> Ranaloni. We're going to go with that. Marks. Yeah. Fortier, Phillips, Hawes, Stanley. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Historical Commission, three years. Mr. Moore? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Uh, Mr. Metz? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Historical Public Records Committee for one year term, Mr. Siri. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ms. Meadowville? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Insurance Advisory Committee for one year. Uh, as a retiree, Ms. Clancy? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, teacher's Rep, Ms. Gillen? Jillian? I'll so, make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, police Union, Ms. Uh, Sergeant Pariso? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Town Hall staff, Ms. Chisholm? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, this one right here, I guess it's still half year. If he wants to retire, he can resign from it. So I'll entertain a motion uh, for the Water Department for Mr. Clark. Mm. I'll make the motion. Second. Cross the bridge when we get to it, right? Yep. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. From the Highway Department, Mr. Herbert? I'll make it. And I should be on there, too for the retirees here in the town hall. Mrs. Clancy is the retiree rep from the school. All right, so let's entertain Mr. Herbert yeah. first. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So we have the motion, second, the all motion. in favor? Second, yeah. yeah. Aye. Yeah, that was a favor. Uh, that was a vote. Uh, Ms. Lincoln as a retiree for a town hall. I'll make no. the motion. All right, I can do that for you. Yeah, you can do it. And there we go. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Local Public Access Committee for three years, Ms. Mahoney? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Overseers Board of Dispatch, one year term, Sergeant Pariso? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Parking Clerk Hearing Officer, one year, Mr. Siri? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, police Chief for one year due to the uh, town meeting, Mr. I. Chief Blanchard? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Police patrol officers full time, uh, Sergeant Pariso, Patrolman Marino, Officer Cowden, and Officer Murphy. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Police Reserve Officer, uh, Ms. Allen and Mr. Keep. I'll make the motion. Actually, Second. Uh, we got more. Oh, oh. So keep going. Pianca, Bishop, Dodge. Oh, no, no, no Bishop. No Bishop. Remove Bishop. Thank you, Chief. Dodge, Joust, Johnson, Trethaway, and is Mr. Dugan the new one? Correct. Would, uh, is Mr. Dugan in attendance? Yes, Would you yes. like to introduce him before we? Absolutely. So the Chief had requested an addition. Again, we've had this constant conversation that doesn't cost the town money. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. This is just kind of a preemptive strike. Um, I have a, a good possibility of losing two reserve officers to the to town of Southbridge. They, they might be coming full time. At, at least, definitely, most likely one. Um, so Herb has uh, over nine years of experience in law enforcement in the surrounding towns, such as West Brookfield, East Brookfield, and the town of Holland. Okay. He's been a firefighter in the past with the town of Leicester. Um, he's been a dispatcher for. Um, Town of Leicester, as well as a lead dispatcher for the town of Paxton. Um, so he's going to fit right in. He knows the town, he knows the community. Mm -hmm. He's responded to calls before in this town. So it's going to take no time at all to get him up and train. I'm thinking maybe a, a week or two tops and he'll be able to fill right in and mm -hmm. kind of take the brunt of losing one of the full, one of the part timers. That well, does work a lot. Speak, speaking of loss, I, I, my heart goes out to you and deep regret for your. Uh, Hometown loss. Yeah. Officer Tarantino. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to introduce Herb Duggan. He's Hi, Herb. got a very good community oriented policing and I think he's going to fit right in. Thank you. Is that a promise? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on tape, so that's a fireball offense. And uh, shortly I will be coming back, maybe about, I'm going to run a process to, to interview more applicants for part time. They're going to come back and uh, present some one name, but that won't be for, for a little bit. I got to post it, interview, mm -hmm. and then and we'll go from there. So, all right. Yeah, we do. All right, so you're on the list for appointments, so I'll entertain said motion. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Stay safe out there, Thank sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you need for anything else? You have some money? <laughs> Not on me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Stay safe. Okay. Um, this one, <coughs> I don't think we. It, I don't think we need a one-year appointment, but it is obviously still standing. They are working. What is that? The memorial committee. It, it's the building committee, building. police station building committee. Yes, I spoke with uh, Holly, and she said that she wants she wanted them to be reappointed because they have some bills and some laws. Oh yeah, makes take sense. Take care of them. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, so she asked that they be reappointed. So do we want to do a one-year appointment? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the Tain said motion for Mr. I'll Simpson, I'll Mr. Eaton, oh, okay. Mr. Holm. Ms. Washburn is not on it as anymore. Well, they, I called and asked about that. They said technically she is the one, even though she doesn't come to any meetings. Right, Ms. So. Washburn, Mr. Lapierre, Mr. Brown, and Mr. Martel. I'll make the motion. Second. One year. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Quaybog Valley Community Development, one year. Mr. Snyder? I'll make the motion. Thanks. I'll do it again. <laughs> you want to do We're it? I didn't know what you wanted to do it. Yeah. Oh, do we have a second? Second. All in Aye. favor? Aye. 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 Rec commission for three years, Mr. Clark and Miss Hanneran. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Registers board of with town clerk, three year, Miss Sanborn. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, is this one year, Karen, sexual harassment officer? Yes, one year. One year for sexual harassment officer, Ms. Bradley. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nice. A three-year appointment for Source Water Protection Committee, Ms. O'Connell, Mr. Taft, Mr. O'Leary, Ms. Grabowski, Mr. Clark. I'll That's make it. the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A veterans agent for three years, Mr. Griffin. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, pu -pu -pu this next one, I'm part of it. I'm not an alternate, you know, I'm a, I'm a full member. I'm sorry. Oh. So I'm going to move that. So I'll entertain a motion mm -hmm. to um, appoint for a five year term Ms. Forcier White and Mr. Comtois. Uh, for the make, Zoning Board of Appeals. I'll make yeah. that motion. Second. Well, we, I was an alternate at first, and then I went to, okay. to full. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Town Council, one year, Ms. Uh, Copeland Page. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And that's it. Question. Yes, ma'am. Couldn't help but notice that of all the appointments made today, there was one person who was not appointed, and that was Beth Coughlin of the advisory committee. Mm -hmm. I would like to know why she was not given a second by either you, Ms. Lincoln, or you, Ms. Contra. The specific reason, since, as I've observed, she's been an essential part of that committee, especially when it comes to member crunching and analysis. You know, I've had numerous complaints from people. Um, like the financial team, she's gone over their head. She has called the Department of Revenue without authorization, and then she has also called um, representatives from VADAR, which is the financial software that the um, financial team uses. And she just, and I think she's been spoken to, and she's done it again. So, I mean, that's my reason. She just. I haven't heard anything mentioned at any meeting about this. Uh, have you talked to Ms. Coughlin about these alleged infractions? Well, I think that's up to the. Um, the chairman of the board of uh, the advisory I, I, board. I think we're going into allegations and whatnot. It, it is confirmed. Yeah. It has been discussed publicly. It has been discussed. Uh, for someone that, that runs on policies and procedures, in my mind, she's violated them consistently. Yeah. Um, I've had to put far too many fires out, and mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm done with it. Okay. Glad to get it on the record. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Okay. Uh, wage authorizations, item number seven. This might take longer than appointments. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Next year, you just handed me a wage authorization. Personal committee hasn't had. Thanks for adding to our <laughs> list. <laughs> what is the casual labor of the Have you guys reviewed we it? Seen it? No, we haven't. 
Is he new? He I is never... working, like oh, I said. Yeah. Yeah, young guy, summertime. dollars casual labor. Can we entertain at the next meeting or does it have to be tonight? Does he need it tonight? You can tell me he needs it tonight. I don't feel comfortable without you guys looking at it. There's two of us here, I don't know. What, you haven't looked at it? Uh, I mean, if he's casual labor, if he's working, I mean, he needs to be paid. I mean, I don't have any problem with signing it for the, if Mary Lou wants to. Well, you don't need to sign. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend you guys sign it without a vote from your. Oh, all right. But he has to be paid, though. I mean, well, if you work, he is working. It needs to be paid. He's so he's a new employee. Yeah. yeah. So the the cola does the high cola school. doesn't affect him. High school kid. No, oh, he's a high school kid. Yeah. So okay. we'll entertain it. Thank you, ma'am. Saw him Saturday morning. So in order to do this. expedient way and they're all signed by the personnel yeah. board I'm going to entertain a motion to approve the wage authorizations for the emergency squad I'll make that motion second and we can sign these later it doesn't have to be done okay. until the end of the year okay. so. all, right. all in favor all right. All right. Uh, let's see if we can do anything else exponential I did argue about getting a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Time flies. Carpal right. tunnel kicking in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve the wage authorizations for the fire department. I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Entertain a motion to approve the wage authorizations for the highway department. I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve the wage authorizations for the library. I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve the wage authorization for the administrative assistant to the Board of Selectmen. I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the wage authorization for the interim accountant. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Entertain a motion to approve the payroll by uh, the wage authorization for the administrative assistant clerk. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A tree order now. Um, This should have gone under highway department, but uh, entertain a motion. Well, they, well, the highway this morning when we signed it, Cindy said that um, that Herb said that it should be the board of selectmen because we hired them. Well, it's it's still under the department. I I don't agree that the board of selectmen no. is is. I would cross that out. Well, they told me to put selectmen. So. My only issue with this is that. Uh, for a seasonal worker, I don't think we give a 3% raise to that line item. He hasn't even been here for a couple of weeks. What's your take on it? We, yeah, start, would, we, we would, started at 12. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. That, again, I would turn to the personnel for sure, but, but yeah, we hired a couple of weeks ago based on a certain rate, and that's what okay. it should be. Are we okay with that? Yeah. So entertain a motion for $12. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, we already have this in here, don't we, Karen? Is that one of them? Um, it's for the uh, financial clerk. No, it's for the clerk. It's for the clerk, but you have to put down the department oh, head as is the it? official No, it's already in here. We, I did the clerk already. I oh, you did the clerk. Is that so, one? Okay. No, I didn't. So entertain a motion uh, to approve the wage authorization for the accountant's clerk. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And this is the same thing that that new transfer station worker is not getting a 3% raise either. So I'll entertain a motion uh, for the transfer casual labor. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Other 
Uh, the fire, de uh, fire department expense budget has $97.96 re remaining. The bill's in hand. There'll be short $428.15. There'll be a bill for plumbing services coming, and there may be another bill for such as utilities, as well as incidentals. We're requesting $2,000 from the reserve fund. This should cover the end of fiscal, of end of fiscal, but will mean postponing some planned expenses. So until we see something coming across, I guess this is just an FYI. Yeah. Uh, any other other? Nope. No, I, I did talk to Mike about the beach and the testing starting July 1. Okay. Uh, I, I talked to him today as well. He's, he's on top of it. Uh, correspondence, a very nice thank you letter. Um, I'm horrible with penmanship. Can you read that? Is it Mulligan? Yes. Mulgana? Sean and Margo Mulligan. Mulligan. Um, they live home. Yeah. Praising highly the uh, fire department for a fire at their home on May 9th. Um, I, I would just I would destroy the intent of this letter by trying to read it. I'd be stumbling over words because it's it's in penmanship and the, the biggest words that I see is professionalism and saving items in the house. So kudos to uh, to our men and women that serve this community. It's nice to be recognized. Yes. Uh, Karen just included this. I haven't seen it yet, so bear with me. Um, from Mr. Landine, Chairman of the Brookfield Recreation, I really don't want to do this. I, I don't want to do it, so you can do it. I didn't do it for that, but thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. <coughs> so you can read it, Linda, if you'd like. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> the Brookfield Recreation would like to thank Stephen Comtois and Chris Malinowski for volunteering countless hours to repair and rebuild our softball field dugout. The structure has fallen into disrepair and had begun to crumble. Thanks to the hard work of these two gentlemen, we will have a safe place for our teams to sit while playing softball for years to come. We would also like to thank Ahern Equipment for the generous donation of the use of the excavator to dig out the foundation. Com Camos? Camasi. Camasi Masonry Supply for the donation of the block and the highway department for the assist to removing the roof, allowing us to reuse it at a huge cost savings. Thanks again, Jeff Landine, Chairman of the Brookfield Recreation Committee. Well, it's very nice for that appreciation, nice. but now that it's out there, um, a lot of work went into that, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you know, Kamasi uh, Masonry, uh, Charlton and Auburn, so for the, all those that are out there, understand mm -hmm. the only reason why I'm entertaining this discussion right now that I'm having is this is what people in Brookfield and other towns need to solicit. You know, Kamasi yeah. donated all the block to that building, well, to that structure. Um, Ahern donated, we thought there was a major uh, foundation issue. Mm -hmm. We weren't gonna dig it by hand to yeah. prove it, so they donated a mini excavator. Nice. Extremely nice that. of them. Mm -hmm. um, the highway department, Donnie came down and, and took the roof off after we disengaged it and took it off in about 10 minutes and yep. saved the town a lot of money for that roof and we're gonna put it hopefully back on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you what guys, with, obviously I, I helped out a lot. We, hopefully we're gonna finish it tomorrow. We've got about four days into it. But Christopher Malinowski, um, owning his own construction company, taking time out. Um, he's, he's not involved really much in this town, but for him to do something yes. like that, he's, he's a construction guy. Anybody that needs any work done, Mr. Malinowski is your guy to go mm -hmm. to. So good. I'd good. like to thank all those entities. I'd like to thank them all too, and we appreciate everything that everybody does for the town. 100%. It's, it's all volunteers. Yeah, so it's, it's all it's, volunteer. It's awesome. Yeah. Any so, other issues this evening? I will entertain a motion to enter executive session number three to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares with the intent to enter back into regular session for the sole purpose of adjournment. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. David, I want to give you this.